All right, Jesse Waters was not going to let Juan Williams get away with peddling the left's lies about the Russian collusion delusion. There's been a lot of dumb controversies. I think this might even take the cake. So little George goes into the Oval and he starts trying to create a scandal over a hypothetical. So George comes in and Mr. President, uh, the ambassador to China, you know, he, just, he says to you that, that Bernie uh, stiffed a waitress at Denny's. What do you do? <laughs> Uh, well, Trump says, I'd listen. Maybe I'd call the FBI. Impeach. I mean, you have to be kidding me. Trump gets word that, that Bernie stiffed a waitress. He has to call the FBI. It's, there are a thousand different hypothetical scenarios that you could be talking about. What did the president say? I'd listen. Maybe I'd call the FBI. That's all he said. The left is freaking out over a hypothetical, but they're not looking at the reality. Hillary actually did this. Hillary paid a foreign agent to get Russian dirt, and then she used it to wiretap President Trump. Or what about more in foreign interference? How about when all of those foreign governments paid millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation when she was running for president? Or little Adam Schiff. Remember, he was on the phone call. We have the audio. Oh, we have naked Trump. He was all ears. He didn't call the FBI. The whole thing is so stupid. And it goes back to the Trump Tower meeting where Don Jr. thought he was going to get dirt on Hillary. Didn't get it. They didn't have it. No money changed hands like they did with the Clintons. And the whole meeting was set up by Fusion GPS. This is all ridiculous. Well, I tell you, Jesse, you need a bigger show. Because <laughs> as this parade goes Can I down borrow the street, yours? you're going to have to keep shoveling to try to get out of this one. Let me just say, yeah. this is so ridiculous. There is a United States law. Hmm. This is not a matter of opposition research. There's a law that says you cannot accept money or in-kind contribution from a foreign government. So we're going to lock Hillary that, up. No, no, let me finish. This is, <laughs> this is a president who, Juan. as Nancy Pelosi said, cannot tell right from wrong, but legal from illegal. Tell me and about this the dossier. Is Ill how's no, it different than the dossier? This is totally different. What? How's it different? This is, well, you could Fusion GPS is an American company. Worked, so no, 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 no. Christopher okay, Steele is a foreign agent. Stop. And let he got the dirt from you. Russians. I, I, enough of the shoveling. Let me just speak, speak the truth Juan, to it's you. facts. Okay, so this is obviously a throwback to the Trump years. And that was back when, you know, Juan Williams used to be on, on Fox News as the, one of the liberal voices he has since uh, left the network, I think, because it, it probably got too much for him to even defend um, some of the stuff that's going on on the left nowadays. But what he's basically trying to do is he's trying to pretend as if the Steele dossier and all of this misinformation, you know, that's the left's favorite word. They love to talk about misinformation, but they are the main ones peddling it, especially when it comes to the Russian collusion delusion, which comes from the Steele dossier, which was Russian misinformation that was bought and paid for by ding, 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 Hillary Clinton. Now that was, uh, it's getting a little deep into all of that stuff from back in the day, but that was what it was really all about. And so there really is just a battle for information going on. The left wants to put forth the version of events that they can control, that fits their narrative, and when they are exposed to anything that is beyond that, they start freaking out, just like Juan Williams did during this segment.